All right, I'm in the back room of Bear Creek Archery. We're doing a bow build with my man Ed right here behind me. We're uh, putting together my Levitate from PSC um, and thought we'd do a quick video on what we're putting on it and why. So hopefully you guys can, can take a little bit from this bow build. The rest we went with is the Hamski rest, and um, I've been shooting the QAD for a while. I like the QAD a lot, but I just wanted to try something new. But Ed really likes the Hamski. Hamski seems very popular. What do you think, Ed? Why are we going with the Hamski? So I like the Hamski for two reasons. The first one is it's going to be a limb-driven rest as opposed to a cable-driven. So I feel like it's a little bit more reliable. It forces the fork out of the way instead of just allowing or relying on inertia to do it. The second thing that I like about it is that they're a local company, so they're from uh, Frederick, Colorado. So everything's oh. made in-house, made in the USA. I did not know that. You learn something new every day. Local guys making Hamski right here from Colorado. Ed. What do we got? So what is we that? A black gold pro site. So this is one of our custom sites. So we have um, three pin custom pro. The first two pins are 19 and the last one is 10. And the green, red, green with the white ring around it. Right. So basically what you're saying is like uh, when you're saying those numbers is the pins, this, that bottom one is much smaller in diameter for maybe a little bit longer shooting. That's correct. Right? Yep. Yep. And why'd we go with the uh, black gold three pin? What's your opinion on this? So I really like that pin. I feel like it's very user friendly. Um, I feel like it's super precise. I like the micro adjustment on there. Uh, I also really love their warranty. So in case anything ever happens, you can send it back to black gold. They fix it for you. They pay shipping. Um, they're really awesome about that. So good company. Cool. And so I'm switching things up a little bit, going to a three pin setup. I usually run a five pin setup, and I like the five pin setup because I, all I have to do is range once. Um, I don't have to worry about taking the extra step to dial. I got all my pins set up between 20 and 60 yards. Um, but I'm switching to a three pin. I want to try it out. I want to see how it goes. I like the idea of being able to dial to the exact yardage and also if that animal moves I still have two pins to adjust to so if the animal moves in animal moves out I can adjust with those other two pins that are around it so I'm going to give the three pin a try all right Ed what are we doing now man we just put the sights on um, looks like you're doing some leveling how important is it to level these sights so what we're doing is we're doing your first, second, and third axis. Um, this uh, pro site has all three of them. Your most important one is definitely going to be the third axis, especially somewhere here in color, somewhere here like in Colorado, where we get a lot of up and down shots. Um, that just kind of makes sure that your bow is level when it's at 90 degrees, 45, um, and anything in between. So that's what we're doing right now. First and second are on. Um, now we're just going to get that adjustment trying to get that level here on the scope to match the level on the bracket. Could I be a good shooter if I didn't level anything? Um, you could be a good shooter at 20 yards. Yeah. <laughs> 20 yards. 20 yards. <laughs> no, get, nothing longer than 20. Once, huh? once you get a little bit further, it starts getting really hard. <laughs> All right, now we're shooting through paper. We just shot through paper anyway. Uh, and the reason why we shoot through papers is to see the arrow flight. Um, if the arrow is coming out of the bow straight, if it does not come out of the bow straight, it makes a tear in the paper on which way that arrow has uh, kicked or cantered, whether it be up, down, left, right. And we're pretty close here, as you guys see. Um, as you see, 
Everything looks pretty good except for a little bit of a left kick with that right there. A little bit of a tear. So Ed has gone back to make a little micro adjustment to make sure the arrows are coming out of the bow very straight. All right, Ed, putting in a peep. Doing a peep. So we're going to start off with a standard 3 16 If that seems to be a little bit too big, we can go down a size. Normally, um, I want to say this is a one and three quarter inch housing. Okay. 1.75. So 3 16 usually works pretty well. I like having a little bit more light around my ring just because when you go outside, it seems to be a little bit, um, it shrinks just a little, just because your pupils dilate. So I like having a little bit more, and for a hunting situation, it allows more light in anyway. More light's good. Oh yeah. I like more light. Alright guys, there you go. Uh, we are all done. Just to recap, went with the Hamski, the Hamski rest. We went with the black gold three pin slider for the sight. And uh, that is my PSC carbon levitate bow for this year. We're going to put on a uh, stabilizer. I'm going to pay for everything and uh, we're going to get out of here. So hopefully this video helped out and hope you guys learned something. Thanks.